Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to the another video as iOS 18.7.1 is out and this update is out for the people who don't want to try out the liquid class, who don't want to install the iOS 26, this update is out and it is definitely a very 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 stable update. Now it is 18.7.1, the update size is about 202 MBs depending on which iPhone you are using, from which iOS version you are coming. For now on this device, I am using iOS 18.7 and this is why this is the size for me. And if you get to how you can install this update, get into journal, software update. And if you're running iOS 18, you will see this update. Make sure you don't have selected any developer beta, any public beta. It must be on off as you can see and you will get the update. Now the biggest question is the, what is new? Well, this is a double dot update. You can't expect anything new from it. There is no dramatic change or anything like that. It seems a very stable update without any sort of features. This update is all about enhancements and bug fixes. And this update also says this update provides important security fixes and it and is recommended for all users. So this is all about the security fix. Definitely there will be enhancements and more. Now why there is no big thing or you know all that because it's already at the end of iOS 18. We might, might, might get another update, maybe um, 18.7.2, but that's it. That this is the end of iOS 18. We don't, we can't expect anything because everything that Apple was supposed to bring with the iOS 18, other than CD, obviously, is pretty much out, and nothing more is coming. So yeah, that this is the end of um, iOS 18. Definitely, it is the most stable update. So it is also recommended for certain reasons. Now, if we get to the Apple release notes, now over here it says there was an issue with some font going on. So, processing a maliciously crafted font may lead to unexpected app termination or corrupt process memory. So, there was a malicious font that was, you know, having an issue. It was, you know, unexpectedly um, terminating the apps, corrupting the process memory that is fixed um, with this update. So yeah, it is recommended for everyone to install this update. Go and install this update. Now, how will be the how is the battery life and how is everything? Well, being very honest with you guys, I did test it out this update yet. Um, definitely I will be testing this out upda update. Um, I will be sharing my experience in upcoming videos, definitely for sure. Um, but if I like go into the battery section over here, my battery is already on service as you can see. Like if I go to this day, on this day I was using iOS 18.7. Okay, you just saw. You just saw my settings crashed. Maybe because of that update. I don't know. I was trying to update my device and setting crash. Okay, something happened. I don't know why it happened. But it happened on 18.7. So yeah. Don't worry about that. So I use my device around 75% according to this graph. And against that I got 5 hour and 4 minutes screen on time. Now during this time I use YouTube, Threads, Instagram, Geekbench and a lot more stuff. And this is a really good do you know screen on time for a this much old device with a this much battery condition. This is a really good screen on time, which means 18.7 in terms of battery life is a very polished update. And you can expect the same from the 18.7.1. So yeah, just install the 18.7.1. That's all from this small and simple video. In a couple of days I will be bringing how the battery is performing. How the things are going on with you guys well i hope to catch you guys very very soon in my more videos more fun make sure to subscribe and yeah that's all from this very small and simple video hope to catch you guys in my next video until that take care peace out by the way let me know if you're using ios 26.0.1 or moving to the ios 18.7.1 let me know in the comment section peace out